on Fox Illinois. Good evening, I'm Chantel Middleton. A teenager from St. Peter was killed in an accident early Friday morning. The 15 year old was on a bike going southbound on Illinois Route 185 just east of St. Peter. There shortly after 530 AM, he was struck from behind by a car heading in the same direction. The teen was pronounced dead at the scene by the Fayette County Coroner. The crash remains under investigation by the coroner and Illinois State Police. An autopsy is scheduled at St. Anthony Memorial Hospital. A 24 year old woman pleaded not guilty in connection with the death of a 74 year old man whose body parts were found in two Illinois counties. Vashawn Mills entered the plea yesterday in McLean County. She's being charged in connection to the death of Oakley Mitchell of Secor. Parts of Mr. Mitchell's body were found earlier this month in the Mackinac River and in a field. The Woodford County prosecutors have also charged Mills's boyfriend, 23 year old Ray Sean Johnson with first degree murder. Prosecutors say Johnson fatally shot Mitchell and Mills helped discard pieces of his body. Springfield residents taking to the street today with a message that more God is needed in the capital city. Hundreds walked from Comer Cox Park on the city's east side to the steps of the Capitol building downtown. The local event is part of the national God belongs to my city prayer walk. People from different religious denominations say they participated in hopes of sparking a religious buzz in town. I believe that when we come some of the churches involved were Calvary Temple Christian Center and Abundant Faith Christian Center. Catholic Bishop Thomas Paprocki was also there. The United Way in Decatur hosting a day of action. Hundreds of volunteers took time out today to help those who help others in the Decatur community. Local businesses and individuals teamed up to help at the nonprofit by painting, cleaning, landscaping and moving furniture. First year students at Milligan University also volunteered. Definitely a service community. Milligan students have a number of volunteer opportunities throughout their college careers. In total, more than 450 students, faculty and staff from Milliken got involved today. Are you feeling philanthropic? A new law makes it safer to open your property to the public. Governor Quinn signed the law Friday and offers some protection if you let the public on your land for activities like hiking, fishing and biking. The governor's office says some outdoor activities for the public have become scarce. That's because landowners have faced rising insurance costs and liability for their guests. Other laws already limit a landowner's liability for activities like hunting and shooting. Starting January 1st, the law will cover all cons conservation and recreation activities. In its 40th year, organizers of the Lincoln Art and Balloon Festival are expecting turnout and profits to soar. News Channel 9's Kimberly Howard has a look at why this event is so important to the community. Well, this is about way more than balloons. That was Kimberly Howard reporting. The Lincoln Logan County Chamber of Commerce is usually able to raise about $50,000 from the annual festival. Organizers say each year they either see more people or more money. Springfield's Downtown Blues and Barbecue Festival ends tonight. This year marks the 10th anniversary of Blues and Barbecue taking over Springfield. Vendors kept all kinds of barbecue on the grill. Live bands kept the crowd entertained. And of course, the food couldn't be beat. Festival planners say the event has a big impact on Springfield. The bigger draw of it. The festival didn't end without crowning some barbecue champs. Some of the local winners include Slab Your Mama Barbecue, Smoke Brothers Barbecue, and Four Score and Seven Ribs A Go Barbecue. A yearly tradition continues today in Champaign. It brings in people from all over the Midwest who have one thing in common their passion for flight. News Channel 9's David Aid has this report. It was Channel 8 9 on Fox, Illinois. Thank you, David. The club is offering a free chance for kids nine and older to learn how to fly RC planes every Thursday night. They hold a free class starting at five and even supply the plane. It's held at the Champaign County RC Club Field on Route 150. Still ahead here on News Channel at 9 on Fox, Illinois, outrage in Washington State. A World War II veteran left dead after being assaulted by two teens. How the community is coping and where the investigation stands. Plus, the Okaw Valley will never again be the same after this year. Can Central A&M contend for a title on their way out under a new head coach? Jeremy Rao gives his take in sports. 